Let's talk about cults. Why? Because I want to. Now, in my opinion, cults have kind of gone through a bit of a transformation over the past decade. When you think of cult, at least what pops into my mind is like Charles Manson. I think that's the fucker's name. A bunch of people like living off in the ranch in the middle of nowhere, right? But I think that ever since the internet came to popularity, there have been cults going around all over the place that people don't think are cults because they don't operate in the traditional methodology of like a cult word, but they are equally as cultish. Now, we're going to go over what I think are a few of these and is being in a cult even a bad thing nowadays. So let's take a look at a few examples. Now, before we take a look at a couple of things that I think personally are cults, let's take a look at what a cult is and define our terms. According to Google, a cult is a or this is the one that I'm going to be using a lot today, a misplaced or excessive admiration for a particular person or thing. Now, this is the thing that I'm really going to hone in and focus on today. I think that a lot of content creators have accidentally cultivated cults. Now, the one that instantly pops into my mind is Hamza. He is a male self-improvement YouTube channel with about eh, 400-ish thousand subscribers. He actually uses this term coincidentally in a video uploaded today or yesterday as of this video's publishing. Welcome to the cult. And his Discord server has been named Hamza's cult for a long time now. Now, why does he call himself a cult? Well, if we're going to go by our definition, he is a male self-improvement channel, as we've discussed. And if you've watched his videos, basically, he gives a lot of tips on how to be a better human or a better man, specifically, seeing as that's his niche. Now, this is primarily where my issue with the word cult comes to mind. So obviously, as I've said before, people, when they hear cult, they think of Charles Manson, right? Like that kind of thing. Where this here, I would argue, this is legitimately as much of a cult as Charles Manson. Hamza is trying to get people to comprehend his ideologies and kind of live in the exact way that he does. I think it's fairly objective to say that the way he lives is significantly better than the way anyone else who's watching him lives, right? Like, if you've actually watched his videos, he lives, at least from what he tells his audience... A fairly positive lifestyle. He works out every day. He gets a bunch of work done. He's generous. St stuff like that. And when I say objectively this is a cult, let's say for the sake of argument that you are in this cult, right? Whenever you tell someone, hey, I'm in a cult, people will automatically think negative of that, right? Negative of you being in a cult. I think you have to really look at what the cult is doing for you. If you are getting better habits, if you are personally getting a positive outcome from being in the cult, I don't think it's a bad thing. Let's take a look at another more extreme, I guess, example. Pretty much any commentator realistically any youtuber but any commentator on twitch or youtube someone for example hassan piker he talks about liberal progressive issues all the time and he tries to impose his way of thinking on people watching him i think that if you are someone who for example watches him on twitch every day religiously i personally think you are in the cult of hassan now is that a bad thing I wouldn't necessarily say so. If it helps you improve your life for the better, like if it helps you think more critically about the government, then who's to say that's a bad thing, right? If you want to go to the completely other side of the spectrum, someone like Steven Crowder, he is a conservative commentator. If you watch every single one of his videos and you find yourself changing viewpoints as you watch his videos and listen to his talks, are you in a cult? Maybe, you probably are. Is that necessarily a bad thing? No. If it helps you realize your points on the world and change them, and you think you are doing the right thing by listening to that, who's to say that's a bad thing? Whether Hassan's points are negative, bad for the world, Stephen Crowder's points are negative, bad for the world, that's really for everyone to decide for themselves. But as for bringing it back to the original point, do I think people who religiously watch these content creators especially on youtube are in cults i kind of think they are 
I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. Do you have any thoughts on this? Leave these down in the comments section down below. Twitch, Twitter, all the good stuff are down in the description. And do the YouTube stuff by liking, subscribing, commenting, etc. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.